Welcome once again to the Project Hexapod Updates. Um, I'm Geek Kevel Conti, and we're going to talk today about some things we've done with the robot power unit, some testing that we've done, and the big reveal, which is this CNC plasma cutter sitting behind me, which is like 90% done. We were hoping to save up uh, the video and then present a completed plasma cutter, but unfortunately we didn't get sent all the parts that we needed to finish this thing. So we're not going to save stuff up anymore, we're just going to post on a weekly basis, um, but we're going to talk about what's been going on these past three weeks, what we accomplished, and what's coming up next. This is a hydraulic accumulator. Um, the most important thing about it is that it requires us to use this <laughs> giant wrench, uh, which we bought today. And um, its job is to help smooth out <laughs> fluctuations in the uh, pressure of the hydraulic circuit. So you put this after the pump, um, and uh, oil can move in through this fitting, or it can flow out as well. The, pump. the rest of the accumulator is filled with pressurized gas, which pushes back on the oil. Um, so if the pressure goes uh, too high briefly, oil will flow in, and if uh, the pressure sags a little bit, oil will flow out. So this is a, a little mini source um, that helps deal with uh, really fast transitions in, uh, in how much flow the system is demanding. So if we open up all of the actuators on uh, you know, one of the legs, um, that's a big change in the amount of uh, hydraulic flow we need. And this thing will help the pump keep up. So the big robot development work over the past three weeks was twofold. Um, first, we actually mounted the accumulators down here. We spaced them out appropriately with the right fittings for them. Uh, secondly, we modified this reservoir to uh, except the size port that we actually needed, which was a 3-inch NPT port. So we cut this thing up, we welded in a new port, and we cleaned it, which was a really agonizing process. Hey kids, get an engineering degree because you could be in a janitor's closet making bubbles in hydraulic reservoirs. <laughs> We've been doing a lot of controls work development on the giant leg. What we're finding is that there is a lot of backlash in the joints and it's a problem we're going to have to address in the long term. We're tr now trying to figure out what the peak of our control system is and what the peak of our mechanical design is, and if we can improve one or the other. Um, so we're working right now on isolating joints, figuring out how they can be properly tuned, and then making whole gates out of it. And it's not going as well as we hoped, but we'll be tweaking both mechanical design and control systems soon uh, in an effort to get this thing a lot to move. Tool is coming out. 